Let the celebrations begin. A Story of Hope, The Liberation by Margaret Wilde. We're planning a party, a very special party, the women and I. My name is Miriam, and this is where I live in hut 18, bed 22. This is my best friend, Sarah, and this is David. He's only four. See him there in the corner with his mama's old black shawl? See his hungry eyes and his legs? His legs. The chickens running in our yard were fatter. Chickens. It's been years since I chewed on a chicken leg. Back then, I didn't like skin or fat. Now I'd gobble it all up. Skin, fat, and bones. I would lick the plate and pull the wishbone and make sure David had second helpings, third helpings, fourth helpings of everything. Sarah and David have always lived here. They think this is their home, but I still remember. I remember Mama and Papa and my very own bedroom and my, in the corner, my very own toys. Sarah and David said to me, Tell us again, Miriam. Tell us about your teddy bear and the squeak in the middle. Tell us about your doll that has eyes that blink. Tell us about your soft pink elephant that sits on the windowsill and the owl that swings from the ceiling. So I tell them. Sarah stares at me and David hugs his mama's old black shawl. And then I run away to be on my own because I know it. Sarah and David want a toy more than anything else in the world. And in this place, there are no toys. That is why we are planning a party, a very special party, the women and I. When the soldiers come to set us free, and they're coming soon, everyone says so, and they will open the gates. And for dinner, we will cook chickens. Chickens for everyone. And each child in the hut will get a toy. A toy of his or her own. We're making the toys now, the women and I. We are collecting bits and pieces, scraps of material, rags, tiny strands of thread, yarn, anything. And we will all make toys, incredible toys. The women and I. Oh, Jacob says, we're crazy. Why do you worry about toys? She scolds. We're starving. It's food we need, not your foolish toys. But we laugh at her, the women and I, and we go on begging buttons and torn pockets because there's nothing we can do about food. There is no food. But we can make toys, and we will. In the end, old Jacoba gave us the back of her sweater and goes off grumbling that it will be our fault if she gets rheumatism in her back this winter.
but we shrug and smile because we know we won't still be in camp this winter. The soldiers are coming soon. Everyone says so. and We must be ready, the women and I, for our party, our own special party. We are cutting and sewing, all of us, every night while the guards sleep. Even old Jekla is helping. She has given us the right sleeve of her sweater, and she says it'll be our fault. Oh, yes, if she gets rheumatism in her right arm this winter. But we still don't have enough material, so now we're cutting up our own clothes. My skirt is getting shorter and shorter. David's puzzled. He thinks my legs are growing longer and longer, remarkably fast. Sarah scowls. She knows we have a secret, the women and I. She says she hates me and she will never speak to me again. But I can't tell her. Not yet. Not until we finish making her an elephant that will one day sit on her windowsill of her new home. They're here! Everyone! Everyone! The soldiers are here! See their guns and their tanks and the big gates swing open wide? David peeks at the soldiers through his mama's old black shawl and the soldiers stare back at us, oh so strangely, making soft noises in their throats. They seem afraid to touch us, as if they think we might break. Then old Jugbush shuffles forward and demands a cooked chicken, all to herself. And the soldiers laugh, and one of them swings David up onto his shoulders. That night at our party, our very special party. The women and I bring out the toys. David wraps up his precious owl in his mama's old black shawl. Sarah hugs her funny patchwork elephant and vows to keep it always on her windowsill. And old Jacoba tells everyone very loudly that she donated her whole sweater. Yes, the back of it, the front of it, and both sleeves so that these dear children could have toys. The women and I winked at one another and passed old Jacoba a helping of chicken soup. And so the celebrations begin. This is Let the Celebrations Begin, a story of hope for the liberation. <laughs>